What's going on everyone? I'm Poet. I've been a fan of this club my whole life and this is why I love Arsenal. I've been supporting Arsenal since first year of secondary school, year seven, so I was 11. And the reason why is because all my family were Spurs fans and I didn't really like my family. So I just wanted to go against the grain. So at first it was just to just go against them. And then what made me say I'm in love with Arsenal was Ian Wright. Growing up in Furry Lane Estate, where Tottenham is heavily influential, they come down, they do loads of different schemes, and supporting Arsenal was one of the craziest decisions anyone could make. All the older boys were Spurs fans, uh, all the geezers like, you are Sam, you sport, sport Arsenal, I'll get him out of here. Oh, and then my dad used to say to my mum my, my mom especially, oh Angie, what happened to your son? He's, he's an Arsenal fan, he's, why is, why is he not sport Spurs? Anytime I used Ian Wright was the reason why I supported Arsenal, no one said anything, everyone totally understood. He came from Hackney Marshes, somehow made it pro, and some of us used to hit, that was our story here, for us to be like, we can do it, because Ian Wright did it. I've met Ian Wright twice. The first time was at an England game, England San Marino. For the first time in my whole life, I literally didn't know what to say. The second time I kept my composure and we'd done a video for him with, with Bull Street. It was an honour to meet him. It was an honour to meet the person that uh, made me really fall in love with football. Because <laughs> we're in the area of Tottenham. Tottenham did come down and they used to coach us. So I used to come down here all the time. Or we used to go out to the ground to see them. Went all the way down to the Spurs training ground. Saw Teddy showing him and his Ferrari Spider. We were like, oh my God, I want to get that car. I had an Arsenal bag, I hid it in my jacket very well. I waited for Glenn Hoddle to come out and he came shaking everyone's hands. I took my bag out, I was like, hi Glenn Hoddle. I saw him walk away, say something, point at me. I was like, oh man. And then he kicked me out. But the sickest thing was, I got kicked out and I sat on the stairs talking to Jamie Redknapp for about 20 minutes. Such a nice guy. He was doing youth work for Harringay and then Harringay sort of got taken over by Tottenham Hotspur. And yes, I used to wear a Tottenham Hotspur tracksuit and do work for Tottenham Hotspur as an Arsenal fan. It was a fulfilling job in it, so I always said to myself, you know what, it's all right, it's a good job, so I'm going to focus on the fact that I'm doing something good in my community and forget the jersey. It was the most successful youth club they've had in something like 10 years, something like that, so that was kind of happy for me. My first game at Highbury actually was when my cousin played for Derby County, and it was Derby drawing 2-2 at Highbury against Arsenal. 38,000 people walking across these narrow roads. Bruv! The atmosphere before you got into the game was worth being. It, it was worth just coming out here, walking and then going back in your house to watch it on Sky Sports. And I remember walking out afterwards saying like, this is life. Arsenal were actually life. The thing about Highbury that was so sick, three people could start singing and there wasn't this sort of fear that everyone wasn't going to join in. Everyone was joining in and it was infectious. There's only one day in this bird camp. One day in this bird camp. Here we're walking along, singing a song, walking in and Arsenal won the land, and it would just go ballistic. You could see the impact it had on the players because the stadium was so, so small. It wasn't like you could reach out and touch the players if they were having a throw in. And I think that is what became very intimidating for the opposition players. There were so many things, so many elements to this ground that made it so sick. I miss it, man. I probably miss that. We really hate Spurs. What a hero. Everyone was booing him. I remember a game against Nantes. He came on as a sub and Mr. 101, he was booed. That was in November. By May of that year, he was God. He wore his heart in his sleeve. He played for the fans. He was Arsenal through and through. And this is the tattoo I got on my arm. This is the celebration after he scored against Spurs. Goal of the season. Hero, man. I just don't think you understand. I think the move across to the Emirates was, was very bold. It was very, very brave. It had to happen in order for us to expand as a football club. And when you look at how big of a club we were in Europe at the time, little things like going unbeaten in the Premier League, and then you looked at our stadium at 38,000, it wasn't really a good depiction of a club that's meant to be big. On the day of the FA Cup, I had tickets to go to the final in Wembley, but we hadn't won anything in such a long time. I wanted to share that experience with a group of people, so we went to the alternative, and the alternative was here at the Emirates, big screen on the grass, watch the whole game. Fast forward to Ramsey scoring the winner, this place went berserk. I remember the staff saying, please don't run onto the pitch, but they didn't understand the amount of enjoyment and love and excitement 
that was contained within these Arsenal fans. We hadn't celebrated anything in so long and to sit down in this confined area, we couldn't do it. We had to push it, we had to jump over, run on the grass, take a piece of the grass, kiss it. It was, it was absolutely manic. When you go to your first football match, you have so many expectations and you, you think of all these wonderful things that it's going to be like and it's nothing like that. It's so much better. You walk into something and you're one of many people that share the same love. You're enthralled by everything. The people that you idolise are literally yards in front of you playing football. Some people call it a surrogate religion and I can see why because the energy you get when your team scores is ridiculous and you feel like am I the only person feeling like this and you look to your left there's a person equally as crazy as you to your right a person going more crazy it's just words don't do it justice words do not do it justice say hello say hello Thierry it's my mum